I want to show you how to create this simple smoky eye using two eyeliner pencils. Not only is this look really easy to create and it applies very quickly, it's also really convenient for traveling because all you have to do is pop two pencils into your makeup bag. They take up very little space, they can be applied even with your fingertips, super quick and easy and I love it. We're going to start by priming the eyelids as always. Now I have dry lids, so typically I use a matte full coverage concealer as my base. However, today I'm going to mix in a little bit of eyeshadow primer that's a little bit drier because I don't want to set the base with eyeshadow because we're using pencils which are creamy. So if I applied a powder eyeshadow over to set my base, the pencil might struggle to glide over. So by mixing in my primer, it's going to prevent any creases, meaning I don't have to set it, but it's also going to make sure that the pencils can glide. Now for mature eyelids, some of these primers can add some weight to the eyes. So to counteract that, I would use a damp sponge to blend this out. This is going to do two things. It's going to remove any excess product from the eyelids, so it won't weigh it down as much, but it also won't compromise on the coverage that you're getting from your primer. The first pencil I'd recommend is using a matte pencil, and this should be a few shades darker than your skin tone. I'm using a chocolate shade, but we're going to start in the outer edge of the lash line. The outer edge is going to be slightly higher. That's going to be our starting point. So grab a mirror, hold it low in front of you, keep your hand nice and low so the pencil is tilted upwards in an angle, and rest your pinky on your cheek. You want to start by lightly pressing the liner over the lash line. You don't necessarily have to create a perfect line, just do little strokes, working on that outer third of the lid, and just follow the natural curve of your lash line. And you should end up with something that looks like this. The next step is optional, but I also like to tight line. So this is going to go in between the upper lashes. This really adds that smoky effect, but if it feels too ticklish, don't worry about it. Now we want to connect to the inner corner of the eye, but we want this to taper off ever so slightly. So slightly higher on the outer edge and then sweeping downwards. We're also going to line the upper waterline. Now, if you want to elongate your eyes, skip this step. But if you want to create a rounder look or bring your eyes closer together, bring that tight lining all the way in. And you should end up with something that looks like this. We're going to blend this in with a pencil brush. You can use your fingertips, but a pencil brush is great because it's nice and small, so it gives us a lot more control. You want to do little back and forth motions, just little smudges back and forth. This will just warm up the liner and then it will start to smudge easier for you. We're slowly moving our hand a little higher now, so this will just make sure we're keeping the blend going across the lash line. Now you can use whatever's left over on the brush and just smudge this underneath your eyes, or you can add a little liner underneath and smudge that. I just like using whatever's left over. The next pencil has a shimmery kind of glow to it. Of course, you could just go straight in with this, but what I like to do is layer it with the matte underneath. Just gives you a lot more definition. Now for control purposes, I like to use the brush to pick up the product and then apply it, but it's totally up to you. Starting on the outer edge of the eye, just as before, we're going to work this over the top of everything that we've already applied. We're doing little wiggling back and forth motions as we blend this in. As you start to use up whatever's on the brush, you can slowly start to bring this to the inner corner. We don't want too much product to the inner corner, so always start in the outer edge and blend and fade into the inner corner. Now for the next step, you want to look forward, and I'm going to hit just slightly above my lid. So this is the height of the shadow. So when you're sweeping over the lid, I only want to bring it up about this height. Again, most of the product should be on the outer lower edge on the lash line and then very slowly start to fade up to this line. Next, taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to sweep around the edges of the shadow. This will just make sure that you have a soft blend, no harsh lines, but it'll also help with the next step. So for the next step, you want to take your bronzer or your contour or even a sheer blush, and you just want to use the same brush as before, holding it slightly further down on the handle to create a little soft blend and go around the edges again. This will just give you a much better shape and just finish the overall look. If you want to add a little bit more drama, you can reapply the liner, even using your fingertips to warm it up and then placing this on the lid. What I also like to do is I like to slowly smudge this just at the lash line and then kind of into the eye. And this just creates that smoky lower lash line effect. Now, don't worry if it looks messy. Smoky eyes are supposed to look messy until you clean them up. So I've cleaned up and I've applied mascara, but you know me, forever a fake lash lover. I have to apply those lashes. Daytime, just mascara evening, I add my lashes. And there you go, two pencils. You have a fun, dramatic look that you can build up over time if you want to. It's really quick and easy. But as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.